So, it's, uh, it's Nintendo Direct time again. Hey, if you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, thanks for clicking, and we're gonna watch this in a few minutes. It's seven minutes away, so we're in a waiting room of sorts now. Uh, all right, so this one, I mean, look, I'm not gonna get my hopes up. However, there is been, there is been, there has been talk of uh, the successor to the Switch being shown off to developers behind closed doors recently. So, the thing is, when the Switch was originally announced, it was for a March release, release date. And the release announcement was around this time of year. So, if they were to announce a new console, there is a likelihood they could do it now, but if they don't do it now, don't expect it until March, pretty much just the way they work. As far as my predictions go, these are my low expectation predictions. They're gonna talk about Mario RPG, they're gonna talk about maybe the Pokemon DLC that just came out, and WarioWare Shake game. Because, uh, yeah, those things are coming up. And the other thing probably will be uh, a Christmas title, because they don't have anything releasing in November and December. So we'll probably have a surprise drop of that sort. Um, if we think about titles that haven't really had something in a while, we've got Animal Crossing. Um, I mean, before we get down to the desperation of games like F-Zero and Star Fox that haven't seen new releases in years, uh, they could do another Wii U port. There's still a couple of Wii U games that are still around. They've also been... Um, well, lately, I guess. There's now the possibility of 3DS games being ported to the Switch, like Luigi's Mansion and potentially GameCube games as well. So, the other possibility as well, yeah, Messiah, as, as you pointed out, the Peach game. They'll probably show more about it. I would imagine that might be the Christmas game. Maybe. Who knows? Um... Now, stuff that is unlikely that I'm hoping for. Uh, Retro Studios has been working on some projects, aside from helping with Prime 4. It's been rumored for a long time, so maybe. And uh, Metroid Prime 4, I mean, if... My prediction is, whenever the Switch, the new Switch console gets announced, whatever it is, Metroid Prime 2 will be the launch title for it. I'm, I mean, Metroid Prime 4 will be the launch title for it. I got mixed up there. But also, you know, Metroid Prime got a remaster and those rumors of 2 and 3 getting the same treatment. So maybe that. But, yeah, I mean... Tempered expectations. I just... I just feel like they're gonna go with the stock standard, you know. Cover what's releasing. It does say information focused on Switch games releasing this winter, so that probably kills off the potential of the new console re reveal, now that I read this. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. They don't usually deviate from it. So it's holiday season stuff, um... I- I would rec- I would reckon there's a, uh, a surprise remaster in here somewhere. That, that's my prediction for the holiday game. I don't know. They could throw something completely fresh. I said this earlier, but if they announce a new Kirby game, I'll play it, I'll be happy, but at the same time I won't be happy because Kirby gets a new game every year practically, if not two. But Kirby gets a lot of love from Nintendo, for good reason. So, yeah. Alright, uh, we got a couple minutes. Anyone else got predictions? We might get a new Yoshi game, who knows? It might be like the sequel to uh, Crafted World, like Yoshi's Musical World, and then they just du double down on the recorder. <laughs> oh dear.
they might also cover titles that are coming out for Nintendo Switch Online. I don't think they're going to expand that service any further. Like, with new consoles or whatever. But yeah. Those are my expectations and, I guess, potential predictions. The thing is, this presentation, I guess, effectively replaced what they would normally do in June for E3, so a lot of people have high expectations for it. And, uh... I mean, the other thing is, supposedly, information got leaked for this presentation, so... I don't know, we'll see. I really hope Animal Crossing, but, you know, you never know. Alright, it's about to start, so let's just swap over to this. And yeah, it should start any any minute now. I would love for it to be Animal Crossing. I'd be very happy with that. Um, the volume is at, as loud as it goes, though. Now it will be, that is. <laughs> Once I do that. Um, yeah, now it will be. Yeah, I'm excited. Like, I, I kind of want to see what they have in store. You know, see, even though Mario RPG I know is something that is, uh, is coming, I still want to see more of it. Like, makes me excited for it. I really want to play that game. Especially after Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. That's gotten me in a mood for more of that kind of, uh, gameplay. But, uh, yeah. I don't know what else to expect. Alright, here we go. Brace yourselves. Now, it's not orange like last time. It's Splatoon, okay. Um, look. I know people are going to be excited for this. There are a lot of Splatoon fans. Not my game. That is all. So... I mean, visually this looks cool. All I can really offer is like, as a reaction is... Yeah. I'm sure people are going to be happy and... Uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a little distracting. I mean, this is a cool aesthetic though. Kind of got this weird futuristic vibe to it. I dig it. If I'm going to play a, a shoot game, it's going to be with a mouse. I'm just a purist like that. But yeah, I mean, I've heard good things. I tried this once with one and I got my ass kicked because Australians um, tend to face off against Japanese players who are on a whole other level when it comes to skill. So I, I got my ass handed to me the first few times I, I played it. So I was like, you know what? I'm good. Let me know if the volume's okay compared to my voice as well. It's another... Oh, they're announcing DLC. Right, that's the other thing. Um, supposedly there were reports of Tears of the Kingdom not getting DLC. I'm not sure how true it is, but... There was an interview where they kind of hinted they were done with that world of Hyrule. Yeah. Which is sad, like, I kind of wanted them to do Master Mode at least. Or, uh, like, expand the underground. This brand new story is set in the Spire of Order, where you will strengthen your character's abilities as you ascend the Spire's floors. We are developing this single-player DLC so it can be played over and over again. It's kind of neat. It's planned to release in Spring 2024, so please look forward to it. Okay, so now that's interesting. Okay, let's see. That's interesting because I said games in winter, and that's not winter. Uh, I can't make it a little louder because this is how loud it goes. Oh my god, it's the return of Mario and DK. 
rivalry that heated up on the Game Boy Advance system. I played that game a couple system. times and it was really good. I enjoyed it. Eyes on the prize. Donkey Kong has stolen all the mini Mario toys from the factory. What you mean that's not Seth Rogen? <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear. And other challenges await. It's not Charles again, you can hear Observation it. Observation and action are vital to your success. Mario needs to reach the key, but he can't quite cross the gap. Hmm. That monkey's tail looks a little suspicious though, doesn't it? If Mario does this, now he can get across. So and why the question? Well, it was more... I was worried that the video might be louder than me. Reach it with a handstand jump or a backflip. Like, I can ask the question and want it to be lowering the volume. Observe and I can definitely do something about that. Mario's, clear stages, and face Donkey Kong head on. You need to be able to hear me, Messiah. But I'm the important one here. Fuck whatever Miyamoto is about to announce, okay? However you choose to puzzle your way through, it's up to you to recover the toys. This looks really good, though. Yeah, what the hell? No, they're talking about games next year. Okay, I mean, maybe... I feel like they would have opened with a new console if there was... A new console. Wait. Guide oh, Prince Sarkar of Persia. As he sets off to save the Prince of Persia and restore the world's balance. Tapping into the roots of the Prince of Persia series, this game features 2D side scrolling action adventure games. I've play. never played any of these games, but. Environments in a mythological Persian inspired world. But don't the thing it is, it's a very old series, and I know people that love it techniques. and have recommended it, as but well also. They have to told me that certain games suck in the franchise. Progresses. Sargon will grow stronger and learn new abilities that expand his arsenal. Equip amulets to further boost But this your looks alright so far from groups. what I've seen. The number of amulets you can equip is limited though, so choose wisely. But this will probably release on other platforms, so if I was interested in it, I would try it on other platforms. I'm just at that point now where the Switch port out of everything is inferior, and I'm only gonna get another game for next year. That... Oh, no, but, the, but that's still winter. That's still winter, so I guess, yeah. These games will help you chase your passions. Rev up for true arcade racing in Horizon Chase 2. Speed yeah, I mean, this looks like a mobile game, sorry to say it. <laughs> overtaking your rivals on the road. Play the main campaign to unlock Racing games, they have to be like a very specific type for me to be into them. Your vehicle and style it to fit your high octane needs. Itching for more racing action? Up to four speedsters can put the pedal to the Look at that frame rate. <laughs> Give us a new Switch console. Look at the frame rates. Chase 2. Launching on Nintendo Switch later today. Okay. Sure. For musical mayhem in this rhythm-based adventure. Rhythm-based, you say? With the music to solve puzzles and battle bosses. Over 30 thrilling tracks away. Not, not, not to brag, but I'm, uh, I'm pretty good at. <laughs> I'm not. I'm absolutely horrendous at rhythm games. Super Crazy Rhythm Castle launches on Nintendo Switch November 14th. Pre-orders begin That's some DDR music right there in the background. Sugoi! Anya Forger has a new assignment from school. Creating a photo diary. Perfect game with this. You'll head to class, then enjoy oh, the rhythm game. In the evenings. On that dog had a bow tie. All sorts of exciting places. Like the beach <laughs> or an art museum. In search of subjects to photograph. Look How at that you dog. time with friends and family? And what kind of photo diary will you help Anya make? Spy Anya Operation Memories launches on Nintendo Switch next year. I never saw Spy Family. No. Mario's first RPG adventure returns. 
the Super Mario I can't RPG wait for this. I can't wait rabbit. for this. Let's go over some new and returning gameplay features. New gameplay features, huh? Time your button presses with action commands to increase damage dealt or decrease damage received. When you time oh, your man. perfectly, you can now damage all enemies at once. Every successful this looks so good. command will fill this gauge. When it's full, you can unleash the three character. Is that a very uh thick? Depending on your current Koopa. party, the move will change. So experiment with different combos. During your adventure, you'll encounter bosses with colorful personalities. <laughs> After clearing the game, you can fight some of them again. Oh. But these powered up bosses aren't gonna be easy. That's probably a new feature, I would guess. Who's the, uh, the Pinocchio looking thing? Set off for adventure Never seen that Mario character before. When Super Mario RPG launches on the Nintendo Switch system, I guess probably November something 17. specific to that game. Pre-orders are available now on uh, Nintendo still, still two months away. I thought it was October, but it's not. Hey. Uh, uh. Look alive. We're almost there. <sighs> The Nintendo DS game, Trace Memory, returns on the Nintendo Switch system as another code. A, D a DS port? Yeah, there you go. So they're doing a DS ports. Ashley receives a letter from the father she thought had passed away. Seeking answers. I don't know this game, I'm just pointing it out that, yeah, DS ports are a thing now. Once there, Ashley encounters puzzles and obstacles that hinder her investigation. Mm. <laughs> Can you see me? She also meets a mysterious boy. What truths await Ashley in this place? And no matter how hard I try, I can't remember Dad's face. Yeah, I mean. Who are you? The sequel, Another Code R. Journey into Lost Memories, previously unreleased in North America, is also included. So I'm I'm like all for content up. that wasn't released both in to experience the full story in regions being released. That's always a good thing. Enhanced for Nintendo Switch when another code recollection launches January 19th. Yeah, I was just checking if it was still in HD. <laughs> but no, that's that's actually the, the the video being crusty. Okay. Another code recollection includes two games: the Nintendo DS game Trace Memory and its Wii sequel, which was never released in North America. Both games are fully enhanced on Nintendo Switch. Please look forward to playing them early next year. It's nice Next, when they do that. Please take a look at this. Oh, there you go. This is going to be the Peach game. Okay. A loyal toad presented a flyer advertising a show at the Star Theater. I really want to see what this is about. Like, I'm interested in this. Go see it. But then. The wicked grape and the sour bunch suddenly made their the wicked grape took center stage. Stop bullying, Tide. Now, yeah. It's up to Peach and the theater's guardian <laughs> Stella to save the play and the day. No. Why do I sound like this? this? Perfect performance has become a terrible tragedy. <laughs> oh dear. All right, I'm paying Luckily, attention to what's going Peach on. Can use the power of Stella's ribbon to face off against the sour bunch. Yeah. The ribbon and before voice gone again i'm pacing myself i know my limits so let's do this whoa peach transfer oh into sword fighter peach Okay, I'm into this. She can use fantastic show stopping abilities. Fend off the sour bunch with sensational sword play. There's, there you go, differentiator from just Mario. And its performers? There are more stolen shows to save. Valuable artifacts from this museum have gone missing. 
Become detective. Detective Peach. Peach. Investigate clues and track down who done it. Desserts have been snatched from this sweets festival. Turn into patissier Peach and save it from a sugar crash. The Sour <laughs> Bunch got their hands on this martial arts school. Become I mean, I like it. Peach and take it back from these foul fiends. Many other transformations are just behind the curtain. So this is like the stage is set. Peach but Kirby. Lady is, ready for the is this technically a Kirby game? <laughs> like Peach they've they've stealthed in another Kirby game. Its but no, it's it's its own thing. It looks cool. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Next year. Eh, it is what it is. That was a new look at Princess Peach Showtime. Street Fighter Peach. In Peach's latest adventure, <laughs> the gameplay changes depending on her transformations. It looks like there are more transformations beyond the ones we showed today. What's interesting so is a, there's a lot of games coming out in headlines. January to March. That's the thing that I'm noticing. Not so much Christmas, which is weird. Let's keep an open mind. A layered RPG full of rich stories awaits in Saga Emerald Beyond. There are six heroes to choose from. A young man who fights with sentient puppets. Obligatory anime RPG announcement. A witch disguised as a schoolgirl to mask her identity. Yep, cat girl, yep. It's... Chasing down a mysterious organization. A songstress mech who lost her voice and body. Mech. And a king of darkness who was recently reawakened. Edgelord, okay, we have Select the trifecta. The hero, then follow their journey through 17 interconnected worlds as they strive to achieve their goals. How the story unfolds is in your hands. The choices you make can unlock different paths more than ever before seen in the Saga franchise. Fight in timeline battles, turn-based combat in which turn order is crucial to victory. I love how every time they show these games, they... I mean, to be fair, this looks unique, kinda. But they make it sound like the combat in the game is something we've never seen before. <laughs> RPGs kinda have the same formula. Okay, I know people that are gonna be happy about this one. The first three Tomb Raider games, all with upgraded visuals, are venturing onto Nintendo Switch in one daring collection. Again, fearless archaeologist Lara Croft. You no, the world no purchase on the Switch because I'm sure legends. this is gonna be on other systems, Backflip and will probably look better. Through perilous quests spanning different countries and mythologies. Along the way, you'll solve puzzles to uncover treasures of the ancient world and unravel mysteries lost to the ravages of time. I've this never played these games before. Comes with all of the expansions and secret levels for each this game. game had expansions? You can also toggle between the original polygon look and the upgraded visuals at any time. Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered, starring Lara Croft, launches on the Nintendo Switch system February 14th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Again, around February and March. Like, this I'm surprised they haven't talked about anything coming out for Christmas. Every oh, it's Pikachu. Starts their day early. This is Rhyme City, a place where humans and Pokemon coexist. The detective duo of Pikachu and his partner. I haven't played the first one. Investigate various cases while searching for Harry. Tim. I've heard the father. series pretty good. Tim interviews people. Pikachu interviews Pokemon, and they find the truth together. They'll also rely on other Pokemon to broaden the scope of their investigations. Follow sense with Growlithe. Smash rocks with Darmanitan. And we'll see how we are for time. Through walls with Luxray. I'm not sure how long these games are, but if and it's and not too long, I'll consider playing it. Find Harry? I guess it depends how much interest there is in it. Find out like, I don't know much about the series. Returns. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 6th. I still wish Danny DeVito would be Nintendo Detective Pikachu. 
This game's a real... Okay, cute. this is a meme game. I know what it is. I mean, this would be hilarious for me to do, but... I'd probably do this on PC. With the music as best you can. But how you play that horn is up to you. I just... You can imagine how this is gonna go. You can use gyro controls to adjust the pitch up and down. Man, to be fair, it probably... Oh, that's unique. Pretty unique. That is very unique, actually. I don't think I've seen many things use that sensor. Honk your way through nearly 50 songs spanning various genres, from classical to electronica and everything in between. Excuse me, is that pizza pasta put it in a box? Oh. Uh. <laughs> Trombone Champ slides onto Nintendo Switch later today. Oh no. Okay, cool. Instantly available, huh? Way to victory in these Nintendo Switch games. So, roughly halfway. We'll duke it out for survival in this online battle royale brawler. Eh. Knock your opponent's health down to zero and deliver a finishing blow. Or shove them off the collapsing terrain to win. Choose from 15 heroes, each inspired by a different mythology. Work with your allies to be the yeah. last team standing. It lost me at Battle Royale, but also I can imagine. Yep, there it is. I was about to say I can imagine this being free to play, and it's just whatever, man. Those are two phrases that instantly get me to stop listening: Battle Royale and free to play. Take up various contracts, from protecting townsfolk from thieves to vanquishing the land's most notorious figures. Before battle, equip your mercenaries with the best gear and skills to claim victory and live to see another day. Hmm. Up to four players online can jointly command a troop and journey together across this vast world. War Tales launches as a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch later today. Interesting. Run and gun in this Contra? reimagining of the beloved NES classic Contra. Blast through explosive stages with a devastating uh, weapons to crush the Red Falcon. The forces. thing is, modern Contra does Spring not have a good track record. Easy pick up and play controls and a variety of difficulty options. This reimagining from Konami and Way Forward features new weapons, enemies, powerful super attacks. I don't know. And a four-player co-op mode. Contra. Operation Galuga storms onto the Nintendo Switch system early next year. Liberate I would kind of prefer like a, a 2D visual destiny. thing. Not my style, but is a what is this? Which speaks of Febrith, one of stolen destiny, stolen minds, and stolen nations. Yet as the world stands consumed by immense evil, a fallen prince shall rise again. Ring of Another two D RPG. That is the ring of the tactics Unicorn, RPG. Okay. Ancestral treasure of Cornea's royal lineage. Legend speaks of your. I'm curious if if anyone is genuinely into RPG games that can play every single one that comes out. The path before us is because there's just so many. Remains now is to walk it. And these games are not short. <laughs> Pretty long experiences, generally speaking. Really traverse an expansive world. Gather new allies. I thought that ads came with something. No, no, it's a Nintendo Direct Sandy. Glorious victory. I mean, I'm basically streaming ads. You're right. Unique characters from humans and elves to massive beasts and heavenly angels. Today marks our first foray into the mists of despair, which hang heavy over our home. I mean, I get it. They have to announce a variety of things. I like RPGs. I do. But I'm very picky, and I'd say 90% of them I'll just be like, Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unicorn Overlord. Available March 8th, 2024. Alright. Is this Ouija's Mansion? No. What is this? Oh, it is. Yeah. Oh, 
I, d I definitely want this. I haven't played this. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD. Welcome to Evershade Valley, a place that's this? screaming and teeming with the supernatural. Luigi, our faint of heart hero, was sent here to check it this out. This doesn't look like they've done too Time much with that. Mansion mayhem. So I guess this is just an upscale as opposed to like a full remake. Without this vacuum like device. I mean don't get me wrong, I'll still play it. Like I'm in, I'm really interested in this. Light up dark areas. I haven't played the original and I haven't played this. I played three, loved it. For your paranormal escapades. In fact, I had this on 3DS and I was going to play it, but then they announced this, so the plans got halted. You can even grab multiple ghosts at once. In this game, you'll find ghosts haunting a former plant research lab. I mean, if they're going to port 3DS games, port a link between worlds, please. Mine covered in ice and snow and even more places. I don't care that I, I played it this year. I would play it again. <laughs> that would make me happy. To block your path. Can Luigi summon his courage and save the day? Looking for other ghost hunters? Up to four players online can do some exercise across different <laughs> multiplayer Pink modes. Luigi. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD creeps onto Nintendo Switch next summer. I tried to do the online multiplayer in 3. It did not work. Next, we have two so. announcements to share. First, please take a look at this video. Hang on. What are they what are they announcing here? Is this Mark? Super Nintendo World, okay. Actually, this question block currently appears on the roof of the previously announced Nintendo Gallery that's under construction in Uji City, Kyoto Prefecture. Alright. The official name of this gallery will be the Nintendo Museum. At the Nintendo Museum, a wide variety of Nintendo products from the company's history will be displayed. Yeah. Construction is going well. I thought for a sec they're about to talk, uh, talk about Mario Maker. We'll share more information, such as the opening date. Because, you know, the vibe to it, it was like, you know, const construction stuff. Next, we'd like to share some updates on upcoming Amiibo figures. Okay. Well. And Ganondorf Amiibo figures are releasing on November 3rd. Yeah, that, that's that's a bait right there. Amiibo Got baited. Noah and Mio from the Xenoblade Chronicles 3 game will be released as a Just, set. On they said January something very vague, and usually when they say that, it's something big. And finally, that museum would be Amiibo interested if they announce. showed versions of games that the didn't DLC come out or stuff like that, Smash but they probably Ultimate. won't. Sora it's going to be highly commercial. Is on the way. With the release of Sora, everyone is here from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in amiibo form. Please look forward to its release next year. Uh, yeah, I mean, cool. <laughs> that's all for today's amiibo announcements. I thought next, he was about to say that's all. Ugh. Jeez. That almost... F-Zero? No, but it, it's... Hang on, F-Zero is already on Switch Online, is it not? Remaster? Oh my god. Please don't remove it though. Yes! But be careful. Your power meter will decrease if you crash into pilots or guardrails. If it hits zero, you're out. <laughs> Shit. You'll this looks so cool. And conserve your power meter to stay in the race. Feeling risky? But please, Spend please, Nintendo, please, please do not do what you did with Mario 35 and just say, limited time. You can also collect super sparks, which appear when machines collide to boost up to a special path called the Skyway. It's the only thing I'm waiting for is for them to say available today. And jumping into a higher position. 
complete goals while you're racing to unlock cosmetic options for your machine. This music just makes me happy. <laughs> this looks so good. 99 players, one winner. It's time to race your way to first place. Because F-099 will be available exclusively for active Nintendo Switch Online members later today. All right. More than 30 years after its so, original release. So, unfortunately, I probably won't get to play it today because it said later today and it's midnight here. But I'll probably check it out tomorrow. I have this controller. It is fantastic. Cannot recommend it more. We hope you I mean, I have the European one places. where it has, like, the Japanese okay, buttons, which is awesome. But nevertheless, hero, cool. We'll probably check that one out tomorrow. Welcome to Vandal City, a I wonder... Land inhabited uh, by small the one thing they don't do with those games is, like, have a way to party pair up with people. The portals holding the land together collapse and throw everything into chaos. It'd be so cool if you could start it's a lobby and just, like, and get friends and jump into a match. City back together. Journey across this the looks nice. To gather materials and craft items and meals for I'm the, the art style. As you continue gathering and crafting, you can weave together new upgrades by unlocking more branches of the skill tree. Enchant your experience even further by embarking on quests and hosting festivals for the community. <laughs> Down for six hours, F Zero soundtrack stream. Will you yeah, during your we'll see how adventure. we go. Definitely, Vandal we'll give it a we'll go a tomorrow. Of Legends story launches on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this is a League of Legend, Le League of Legends game. Interesting. Wait, did you hear that? What? Join best friends New New and Willem on a journey across the frozen wild. Another League of Legends game. Jump, climb, and sled your way through a beautiful yet. I've heard the anime for that they did in the League of Legends universe is actually pretty good. Will bring you closer to the truth Haven't checked that out. Friends and their past. Song of New New, a League See, of I, I played Launches League of Legends when I can't remember how old I was, but I remember Nunu. Oh, yes, it's time to move, okay? Listen to Wario's new voice as we don't play with Charles Martinet anymore, eh? This get ready to fuck! Tons of micro games that'll get your <laughs> Sorry. Moving. In each micro game, you'll get into a specific pose called I'll stop. A form. This Cop looks like a, a successor to Smooth Moves, show. which was fun. Perform the correct action as quick as you can. Hand model. The micro games will come one after another, so look alive. They are the new ones, so. Uh... Plus, up to four players I mean, look, battle it out in party mode. It baited me last time because I thought we were getting it's Warrior Land. Without getting caught by Medusa. But I'll probably still play this. Or settle the score in an arena to be the last one posing. I love I just love this series. I really the do. 200 lightning fast micro games and multiplayer modes of plenty. Oh, and there's a nostalgia Wario injection. WarioWare Move It launches on the Nintendo Switch system November 3rd. Ah, oh, yes. Now on Nintendo eShop. Okay. <laughs> a heroic tale I mean, I was right. They, they talked about it. Lead an army of over 100 heroes Okay, well, battle, there's only about eight minutes left. Invasion. Meet Noah, a humble villager. It's interesting that they still haven't announced something coming out for Christmas. And Marissa, I guess November's as far as it goes. Three band together to fight for a Nothing goal. in December. On their journey, they'll meet a variety of heroes who can join their cause. This is your home base, known as the headquarters. As allies join you, additional facilities will become available. You'll be able to tend more RPGs. Each hero you encounter has their own backstory and motivation. Unique feature to RPGs, backstory and motivation. But these conflicts may strengthen the bonds between your heroes. <laughs> Trust. Betrayal. 
Sorry, it's, it's not a comment on the game, it's just the marketing makes me laugh every time. They speak like no one has ever really seen an RPG game before. It's probably aimed at shareholders that aren't gamers, let's face it. Participate in some pixel perfect play. How? Oh. Next stop, Octopia. Eastbound. To a charming or Eastwood. World in this paid DLC for Eastward. Help Sam and John turn the pages of a new chapter as they This game looks really really nice. Tend to livestock. Whip up culinary delights for your neighbors and restore buildings to help the village thrive. And if you're new to Eastward, very nice pixel art. Worry. You can access the DLC even if you haven't played the main story. Eastward Octopia ventures onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. It's on PC as well, so I'd probably play it there. Get back into the groove. War Groove? In this sequel to War Groove, charge across three tactical campaigns with valiant factions, including this a was, um... faction, the Fari. This is more Advance Wars than Advance Wars now. Like, I like the style more than what they did with uh, the new Advance Wars. I don't know, I'm just a sucker for pixel graphics. This aesthetic looks better to me. Or create and share your own cutscenes and campaigns. Yeah, this looks really nice. But these kind of games, I have to be in the mood to play them, and I would play them in bed. It wouldn't be a good series for me to stream, purely because I'll play it once and then probably not play it again for a month. Dive and catch fish by day. Then serve them as sushi by night in the aquatic adventure, Dave the Diver. Dave! When you get to the door. To concoct recipes <laughs> I'm and kidding. The day's menu. No one's going to get that joke. Clamoring customers at your sushi restaurant. Explore an ever-changing underwater world to find the best ingredients and strive to exceed culinary expectations. In bed stream the soon. <laughs> launches first for consoles on the Nintendo Switch. asking Switches for a October sleep 26th. stream. Pre-orders and a free demo swim on to Nintendo eShop later today. Looks nice. The final wave is racing in. Here's I have not touched this game six. since the, the Switch launched. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass DLC. From the Mario Kart Wii game, Daisy Circuit. More returning characters are also being added in Wave 6. From the Mario Kart Double Dash game, Diddy Kong. From Mario Kart Wii, Funky Kong. Hey dudes, it's me. From the Mario Kart Tour game, Pauline! And also, Peachette! Peachette? Oh, right, the. Yep, I know, I know, I know. I know. The thing that spawned the, the Bowsette um, main thing. For the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game drives onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Remember how there was, a, there was like this thing Toadette could wear to turn into Peach, and then people were like, oh, what if Bowser puts it on? And then it was Bowsette, and you know, the world strayed further away from the light. Something new is among us. All right, well, that's the end of the direct. Nothing to see here. I'm just gonna... <laughs> I don't really have much to say. Other than I know this game is, is fun if you play with friends. A lot of fun. But... I'm waiting for the day where it just stops being referenced. This game... I mean, it looks cool. 
But yeah, you need a group of people to play it with, otherwise you will be playing it with children. <laughs> I've seen what happens when you join lobbies with randoms. Most of them are kids. What did you think? So I don't have interest in that. Next up, we'd like to recap some of the previously announced Nintendo titles you can look forward to playing from September onwards. Let's take a look. Wh why? Why? You've already announced this stuff. <laughs> that, that, um, all right. I'll be getting that because I want to try it. Yes to that. Yes to that. Yes to that. Jeez. No, because haven't touched it. No, because it runs like trash. No. Yes. Yes. Uh, no. Just not interested. Yes. There you go. A lot of yeses. I hope you're looking forward to these upcoming titles. This next video will be our last announcement. But like, this is... Look. Yeah, I think out of today, F-Zero and Donkey Kong is probably the most exciting thing. Well, it's something set in the Mario universe. What is it? Are you kidding me? Dude! Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> I really wanted to play this as well! Oh my god. Yes! <laughs> When, 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 when? Or is this a whole new one? No, 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 it's not. <laughs> I haven't played this one. But everyone tells me you have to play this. You have to play this one. It's just so damn expensive to get a copy of this. So, wait, Mario RPG and Paper Mario Thousand Year Door remakes. Back to back. Wow. I'm so happy right now. Awesome Nintendo, yeah. Yeah, I think this year has been absolutely stacked for games. It's not just Nintendo, like, you look at the stuff that's released this year. Wow. When? 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 What has happened to me? Is it possible that, well, you're in love? With me? Princess Peach, will, will you teach me the thing you call love? Ah, uh, it'll be like... That's fine, I mean, we got, we got Mario RPG this year. Nintendo GameCube will return with enhanced graphics. Whether you played the original or have yet to play it, we hope you look forward to experiencing this adventure in a paper world starring Mario and friends. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Holy shit. Thank you for watching. I mean, why do you need GameCube games on Nintendo Switch Online when they can just remake them? That's another, that's another surprise remake that's come out of nowhere. It's kind of like just how Metroid Prime got this really awesome remake, and it looks like they're doing the same with Paper Mario. Okay. Well, there you go. Um, no new console. Pretty much it, it became obvious about halfway through it, if not at the start. <laughs> um, all right, the stuff that was new that I am excited about. Um, the F-Zero 99 thing. Yeah, we're trying that tomorrow. I would try it today, but it said launching later today. 
So it's not launched now, and it's almost one in the morning here. So yeah, we'll do this tomorrow for sure. Um, the Donkey Kong and Mario Minis. I really liked that game. I I tried it. I forgot. It would have been the Game Boy Advance, but it was through a friend. But I really liked it. Um, just the puzzles in it were kind of cool. So, if there's not a whole lot going on that month, I'll, I'll get it. Yeah. Uh, and then, I guess the Peach game looks interesting. Yeah. Like, I, I do want to try that. I said it last time. It's just, I don't care. It, it's a Peach game. It looks cool. And it looks like they're trying goofy things in it. And I always like Nintendo trying weird shit in their games. So, I'm all for it. Um, that's pretty much it, right? Aside from Mario, Paper Mario. Um, that was a big surprise. I wasn't expecting them to give us another Mario game, let alone another RPG game, let alone Mario RPG. And, uh... Thousand Year Door so close together. So, big surprise. Uh, did I miss anything? I, I feel like I, I've missed anything. Let me let me just scrub through. I mean, okay, Tomb Raider. I know people are going to ask about that one. I never played these games. I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure what to expect from them. They're not my thing, but I know a lot of people are going to be excited for that. Um, Detective Pikachu we kind of already knew about. Other than that, I mean, yeah, it's kind of how I expected it. It was, with the exception at the end, the end surprise was really good. Um, the majority of the direct didn't really have major things. It's kind of, at the point where it like took an upturn was definitely where they announced F-Zero. Um, they haven't done anything with F-Zero in such a long time, so... I mean, I want to watch this again, if you don't mind. Like, this was such a cool reveal, because I thought... At first I thought, oh, they're adding more to Nintendo Switch Online, Super Nintendo stuff, but then I was like, wait, they already have F-Zero, what is this? Returns as a 99-player Battle Royale. I mean, this just this just looks hectic. with machines from the original Super NES game. And you know the soundtrack to this game. If you haven't heard it, it is this is like a uh, classic Super Nintendo music. It's some of the best. You'll need to avoid collisions and I can imagine I'm gonna get I'm gonna get very tilted by this. I think the salt levels are gonna go up because this is going to be hectic. You can also collect super sparks, which It's not gonna be a case of being a good racer. I feel like the people at the front of the pack are gonna are gonna definitely have an advantage. Goals while we'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll try it tomorrow, but yeah, this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And thankfully, Nintendo didn't do what they uh, they did with Mario 35, which is make it a limited time. I'm still sad that that game just got removed after a certain amount of time. That was a good battle royale, and probably the only one I was good at. Exclusively for active Nintendo Switch yeah. online members. Later today. Doesn't say when, but I'll uh, I'll definitely check in throughout the day. So, okay. I just wanted to say that specifically again. That is the big one I'm gonna try tomorrow. It's gonna be cool. So, I think the things I'm most excited about is F Zero Ninety Nine and the uh, the Paper Mario remake. So, those are the two major things I'm really happy about. All right. Well. That's it for this viewing reaction thingy. Um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed watching this with me and chat, I guess, indirectly. Uh, yeah, and if you want to see more of these sort of things, just remember to click those buttons, um, particularly the ones with human thumbs up looking things. Uh, yeah, it does help out the channel a lot. Thank you to those that do do that. Appreciate you. Uh, but yeah. That's it from me for this direct, and uh, 
looking forward to playing these games. All right. Bye, YouTube.